and I haven't sideswiped anyone yet. <laughs> Today! Wilson! This is Bumblebee! <laughs> This morning at Avenue of the Arts, it is always a pleasure whenever I get to stay here. And whenever I get to stay here in Costa Mesa, it is because we're working on Mimi. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you for picking me up today. Yeah, anytime in my truck that you regularly Drive more steal. Than you do. <laughs> yeah, literally. Do you want your laptop just slapping around in the back of this thing when I do? It feels good to be back here at your performance. Hey, what's up? Been a minute. Papa's in beers. Nice shirt. I like yeah, it. Good to see you. Good to see you. Demolition day. Demolition day. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna TNT in that box yeah. or what? <laughs> <laughs> flamethrower maybe? Yeah, flamethrower. Oh, yeah. awesome. I think Elon Musk has a few of those. Got the lunch truck. We got the capris. Let's go see the guys. Whoa. Wait, are we in the right place? Are we in your performance? <laughs> yeah, what just happened? <laughs> Whoa. Look at that. I'm, I'm confused. We haven't been gone that long. I think we have. Wait, wait, <laughs> I had to go. take off my glasses to make sure I was seeing straight. Hi, welcome to Ship Performance. How may I help you? Hi, thank you. I have a, a Chevy Nissan Sentra. And uh, okay. I, was, I was just curious um, if you guys could supercharge my mom's car. Yeah, yeah, no problem. It'll be $100,000. Oh, sweet. All right, let me just type that up. What right. if I just buy it myself, parts on eBay? And I just bring you the parts and, and you guys do it. Kind of like, you know, at, at like a steak restaurant. I'll just bring you my yeah. own steak and you guys can cook it. Yeah. Yeah, you can go f yourself. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Good morning. It's almost <laughs> afternoon. Looks like you guys are close to wrapping this up. We're getting there, yeah. A few loose ends to tie up. Like, okay. literally. Pun intended. Just a couple. <laughs> you guys are trying to dine with us tomorrow? In theory. <laughs> I brought you a little gift. Really? It's not even my birthday. Oh, it's an e crew shirt. Yeah. Thank you. You are welcome. Just wait till you see the back. It's the G-body. <laughs> Bad grandma. Bad grandma. I like it. <laughs> Glad you do. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, of course. If you guys want the merch, shop.emuleheartford.com. Cop it. Don't sleep on it. Help support the builds in the channel. Just like what you're wearing. Oh, yeah. I got one today, too. This is the Cash Money S13. What's that? What this? Yeah. Oh, it's my driver's license. You're gonna need to get one soon, but car's gotta get fast enough first. Oh, we need my. But still beat the Caprice though. Yeah. <laughs> Insults aside, you just need to have a nine-second car to get a license. Well, hopefully with what we have planned, you guys will be able to do that very soon here. Your car's slow. Sorry, I'm choking on a peanut. <laughs> Justin's getting his Nova. You're getting it back. Yeah, the Nova's gonna be back. That's right here. January ish. So he's gonna go back to smoking it. He's <laughs> gonna literally walk you now. No, it'll be a good race though. Well, this will be so sick. This will be cool to see. So we got a few cars to race now. We got race the Nova, we gotta race the lunch truck. Lunch truck's not very fast. That's gonna keep you on your game. Okay. He's gonna walk you in that one for sure. <laughs> All right, here it goes again, you guys. <laughs> well, I can at least redeem myself. Yep. And the B4 begins. I think he gets a 250 shot and we go back out. You wanna put a shot on the Caprice? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done talking with that car. <laughs> Have you named it? No. No, there's gotta be a name for it. You guys, comment below your favorite name for the Nova. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see what people give us. <laughs> you haven't driven this car for four years. Five. I've been in car five years. By the time it gets back, it'll be six. We got something for you. Right. <laughs> this is my favorite shirt out of all the shirts we sell. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Do -do -do -do. Hello darkness, my old friend. Oh, she's hurting. It's been a while since we've seen her. I really need to get a car cover for her. Looks like someone put a sticker saying fragile handle with care. <laughs> I don't know if she's so fragile. I mean, she wouldn't blow on the dyno, so. Yeah, she's like indestructible. Yeah. Like it. Well, let's see if she'll still turn over. It's been a while, but I'm so glad to be back, you guys. I love this car so much. Watch, you like abuse it the entire time on the dyno and now it's gonna like. Yeah, now it's gonna blow as I pull it into the garage. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> You look like your grandma. I'll start this process for you. Oh, hey. Well, okay. Thanks. You're welcome. I was weight reducing. There we go. There's a lot of weight reduction that can be done on this, you guys. So I know you guys have been dying for an update on Yumi, as have I. Uh, we did confirm indeed that this is a 305. This isn't a 350. A little bit of a disappointment. You got shorted. I you? did get shorted. <laughs> God damn it, Mimi. Oh God. She's gonna disown me after seeing this video. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Grandma. We have decided against building the 305, you guys. Instead, we're just gonna pull the motor and we're gonna go ahead and move on to phase two. I'll share with you guys what that is going to be very shortly. Uh, but today, in order to turn my grandmother's car 
car into a race car, what really needs to happen is we need to get this interior. There are panels falling off, literally no, no, no. as he opened the door. We're ripping panels off. We need to get the interior because we are bringing her to cage. Safety first. We're trying to run sevens here. We're gonna start maybe with tens and a quarter mile. All right, you ready? Yeah, let's do this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Put the torch down. Where did you just get that from? I took it out of my pocket. I brought it in my purse. Oh, it was okay. a thing. Look what I found, like a piece of jewelry or something. I don't even want to know what's under these back seats. We can see where my friend glued black carpet over the blue carpet. Look at that. I feel like the blue would have looked good too. I think so. It's a bit uh, spacious in here now. What do you think? Yeah. I think we should extend the pedals and the steering wheel and you just sit back here and drive. That'd be cool. Scare the shit out of people. <laughs> I never noticed how good of shape the roof was in. That's very nice. Someone redid that, did these. Yeah. yeah. Oh well. Yep. <laughs> that was easy. They weren't even bolted in? No, not, even, not at all. I don't know if they even ever were like from the factory. I don't think they, I think they just sit there. Yeah, look at that. I'm gonna get like tetanus moving this out. So this is coming along a lot faster than I thought I was going to. Let's check in with the guys. They're trying to get this Bronco ready for a dino day tomorrow. To be fair. To be fair. The guys are working and I don't interrupt them. Right. <laughs> are you ready? What? Wait, what do you, what do you do? God damn it. Here. <laughs> Heel. Roll over. Put your hands out the window. Let me see some identification. It's a shame that we're actually taking everything out of Mimi because the guy who did this after my grandma owned it did a very nice job on everything, but because race car, we're gonna send it. So I put the sheet under the seat for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what? why that was there. <laughs> the carpet doesn't match the drapes. <laughs> That's so bad, dude. Well, let's start ripping it off like a strip of wax, huh? I thought you were gonna say a stripper who just got paid, but same thing, yeah. <laughs> This is so bad. This is not PG rated. We're delirious because of the heat and. Yeah, we're delirious from the heat. And then also, I was like, my last video, two videos ago, I was like, all right, I'm going to take a break. I'm tired. I'm like, I can't not work on my car. It's like a disease. We need help. Please send help. What do you think? I'm eating a sandwich. You're eating a sandwich? <laughs> take the soap plates off and just start ripping. Yeah, I think I'm going to start working on the carpet next. No. Hell yeah. Oh, yep, yeah, look at that. Hey guys, that's a very fragile, expensive piece. Let's be careful not to it's vintage. break it. Oops, it is. You actually needed that. <laughs> I wonder what you're gonna find under the carpet. I know, right? Like how much loose change or cigarettes? That's what we were saying. We were like, there's gotta be some weird shit in this car. My first Chevelle that I had, I bought it from the original owner. She was a heavy smoker. I must have found half a carton of cigarettes under the floor. <laughs> a trap door for Coke? That's awesome. Hopefully there's no, one. No, that here. is not cool. Oh, bad. You having fun there? Team effort here. You're doing great. All right, Justin's cutting a hole in the carpet around some screw that's holding the exhaust up. <laughs> there we go. Get it. Get it. Oh, that's so gross. Oh, I'm wow. offended. Oh, that's Nobody not good. The floor. That is not oh, good. Oh, no. Eh, you don't need that part. Nope. Now, let's, we, know, let's now we know why there's no heater core in the car. <laughs> I like tetanus. Well, we found one penny from 1976 and we got a rusted floorboard. This water bottle is for me. There's nothing under here. I'm disappointed. I know, right? A little bit of rust was expected. That's better than what it could have been. Come on, in our protection. Oh. I have no idea why I'm doing this. <laughs> so I'm thinking we don't even need to swap the car or do like a clutch pedal or anything. We'll just Flintstone it with our feet. So this is all coming together super nicely, actually. I mean, all that I see really left is the driver's side door card, the headliner, and also the dash. <laughs> Just rip that shit out, bro. You got door deletes for that, right? No, but I should hit up Street Faction to see if they make anything. <laughs> we'll try and find something like super sick and clean for a door card. Yeah, I'm sure you could find a nice door card for a G-Body, right? Yeah. Now we'll just make one, right? Yeah, right. I'm really excited because in the next episode or two, we're trying to finalize a couple of things because I don't want to give you guys false information. We will be revealing what engine you're putting into Mimi next. Wait, you're swapping it? As opposed to keeping the 305? Pull the motor? What do you think about if we pulled the engine on this, cut out the floor panels, went to Irwindale, and see what kind of Flintstone time we could put down? When we do the burnout, we'll just like rub our feet really fast on the ground. <laughs> Have you been wearing a mask? Have you been inhaling this crap? <laughs> inhaling a lot we'll table that until rust. next time. You're getting a lot of weight reduction with rust. We should just cut out everything. There we go. Without floors, I mean, it's definitely lighter. I mean, the hood weighs more than I do. We'll get rid of that too. We're just gonna all glass. What do you think so far? Weight reduction in actuality, though. 400 pounds? I would have guessed like 200, maybe 100. Not that much. 
the seats alone are like the seats 50, weigh nothing. 50 well, uh, That's heavy. The back yeah, seats weigh nothing. Five pounds or something. We don't have a scale to weigh it, do we? Yeah, it's definitely lighter. Don't throw your back there. Right? I already. Be careful. I, it's already thrown out. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't break the window switch while the window's down, because then I'm just screwed. You're just like stretching those what? wires back there. <laughs> I'm gonna die, you guys. Is that it? I think so. Oh, you got the dome light. Just rip it out. Okay. All right. Oh, you're yeah. still attached. Oh, all right, so you got the headliner off and kind of ugly under here. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. So we're now removing the dash. We are going to clean it though, but the shop that's doing the cage actually asked that we leave it in so that they can mock having the bar across to fit perfectly so we can still run the OE dash. So leave it there for now. So I'm going to throw out just about everything except the headliner and the seats. If you guys want to buy either the headliner or the seats, let me know. Call the shop. Call Sheer Performance. And it is for sale, but if I don't hear anything in a week, I'm just going to throw it out. So apparently Labor Day doesn't mean to labor. It's a holiday. Holiday to relax. I think we both got that confused. Yeah, I thought Labor Day meant that's a day that you did labor. I mean, the shop is open. We're all here. Does not compute. We're one step closer to getting Mimi ready for cage. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and grab a shock back. I'm gonna clean up all this and let's see how clean we can get this. I don't know how clean I can get that, but I'm willing to try. <laughs> This actually looks really good and there was no sound editing to have to remove it off. But I'm gonna put the driver's seat in, we're gonna back her up, wash her down a little bit. We should be just about wrapped up in terms of removing the interior. Not sketchy at all. Why don't we just cut that? Okay. I love how we didn't actually look to see exactly what that was for, we just cut it. Doesn't matter. Don't worry. <laughs> all right, let's hear how this whiny girl sounds. Oh, oh. oh, it's a lot louder now that we got a hole in the floor. And it definitely now smells like gas inside the cab. You know what we did? We dumped an exhaust right through the inside of the car. I'm getting smoked out now. Me or you did that? Hey man, this is a team effort. What? Dude, I'm gassing myself now. Down Mimi right now. You're gonna get out of here. Yeah, I'm gonna split. You're not gonna labor anymore on Labor Day. I'm done. Well, I think she's just about ready to go over to Cage, so we got something fun planned for next week. Yeah, the Cage. <laughs> sure, we'll go with that. Yeah. You guys, we're actually gonna pull the 305 next week, so you'll know what we're about to do then. The 305 and the power glider coming out. Yeah. I say when we pull the engine, we don't disconnect anything. Let's just pull it up and see what snaps. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do a quick and dirty pull on it. Something tells me you guys have done that before. At the junkyard, never. Like, yeah, not a customer car, but at no. the junkyard. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think we got something in store having to do with the junkyard coming up. Maybe. Or maybe not. Maybe not. We'll see. Man, the one who's usually the one to spoil the surprise is being very good right now. I'm the spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give one spoiler for the people watching at home. Mimi's going to go faster. Ooh, I'm sure you guys could have figured that out, yeah. <laughs> That was pretty late, spoiler. <laughs> All right, what else you got? I don't know how spoiler to go. It won't be a four cylinder. It won't be a four cylinder or five. It's gonna have a cage. We might play with the pedals. Okay. I did make a comment earlier about us needing to do a clutch pedal, so. It's gonna get a third pedal. Yeah, everyone's gonna be either pissed off or really excited. It's gonna be one of the two at this point. No, it's gonna be, that's gonna be all good. But this should be fun. Well, what trance is it getting? Yeah, I guess no one really Three knows speed, that yet. Four speed, five speed, six speed. Eight speed. Eight speed manual? Where are you gonna get one of those? <laughs> Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious. Man, I heard they got one of those 20 speeds. Call Universal, see if they've got any laying around. <laughs> I'm sure it adds horsepower to the car just by throwing that in. Oh, for sure. All right, man. Cool. Until next week. We're gonna rip this thing apart. She's going on a diet. There we go. She's already on like a little slim fast LA diet. She's on the ghetto diet, but she's gonna get a real <laughs> diet here soon. Well, she's gonna gain some weight and lose some weight. That's like the story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you're just washing the car right now. Yeah, with a shop rag. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't scratch the paint at all. What are you talking about? It leaves like orange fibers everywhere. A shop rag is like the like rag. 400 grit. Yeah. yeah. Right. I think you should go back to blue. I think the blue would have looked good, man. I kind of like the black. It gives it like that GNX vibe. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. They did a good job of converting the car to black. I'll give them that. Like they didn't do a good job with the swap and some other stuff, but like they made it look pretty black. Like they painted like everything. Are you going to leave it with that paint job? No, we're going to wrap it and do something well, crazy. Yeah. I was thinking doing a full chrome wrap. <laughs> it is lifestyle. I don't know about that. <laughs> That's a little flashy. Is that a bad yeah. grandma? It's bling grandma. <laughs> <laughs> if it gets a chrome wrap, 
It's getting a gold grill. Ooh. Now we're really pimping out grandma. That little pimp thing I got from AutoZone, now we definitely gotta put that on. It would be really funny if you made this very like Vato hood, like gold and like Dayton's and everything, but I, still red. I'll do like, like a rosary oh, hanging down. I would do this thing like a flake green paint job, but with like oh, 10 different know. shades and pinstriping. That's Real. actually like kind of cool. It would look badass on this car. Comment below you guys, what do you want to see when we change the color? Do a wrap or paint, whatever it may be on Mimi. So if we don't do the low rider wrap, one other one I was thinking of earlier today was getting my grandmother's face printed a thousand times in one large vinyl wrap and just wrap the car in her face. I think your grandma would love that. I think she would too. That'd be creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little bit. A little bit. Adios! How oh, awkward, you're still there. <laughs> See you later, alligator! You know, as much as it doesn't seem like it was extremely eventful, it was. It was something that needed to get done and it spent most of the day doing. I thought it was fun. I yeah. like demo days. Yeah, it was a good time. Taking things out is a lot easier than putting things in. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Anywho, um, my friend Sammy, whom you know, yeah. rented a crazy baller pad in Palm Springs. And I kind of want to drive to Palm Springs right now. That's dope. You, you want to take your Prius? <laughs> Do you want to go? Yeah, I'm down. I'm kidding. I, I have work. I <laughs> I have you like normal me? people, you know? All right, well, drop me back off at my car, you guys. I'm gonna head to Palm Springs and say what is up to Sammy. It's been a minute. Let's just spin cut to Palm Springs. I'll show you guys the house and we'll sign out there. Thank you for your help today. You're welcome. And, well, yeah, let's go to Palm Springs. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> Whoa, look at this backyard, you guys. There's a mini golf course, a pool. That's officially a hot tub. I don't know if it's supposed to be or not. This is sick. This is gonna be fun. A nice little vacay for your girl because she works so hard. All right, Sammy, so here's the thing. I filmed an episode today, and I don't know if it's very interesting or not. I need views, and I need watch time. Okay, I got you. So I was gonna let you do my clothes out tonight. Okay, I'll close you out. <laughs> you wanna take the camera? Yes. Okay, what am I doing? Do so you say thank you guys for watching? Oh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you click that subscribe button. And you gotta tell them where to get the merch. Where do you get the merch? Shop shop.ameliahartford.com shop.ameliahartford.com you heard <laughs> and then i usually close with a bye a what with a bye bye <laughs> there we go <laughs>